Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be discussing some of my reading plans for the next little bit So I have a few books here that I'm just hoping to get to in the next little bit and some that I'll definitely be getting to So I just kind of wanted to talk about that with you guys the last TBR I did for the reading rush I actually completed both books not during the reading rush, but I still completed them. So I'm happy um, But I definitely want to try doing little videos like this every now and then just to kind of I don't know share with you guys what I plan on reading soon and then that also gets me excited about the books and I get to share them with you guys and hear your guys' thoughts on them as well so it's a great time but <laughs> let's just jump right into the video the first book that I'm hoping to read super soon which I am going to be is If It Bleeds by Stephen King I'm so excited about this one I was originally gonna not read this right away but I actually got it gifted by my mom so thank you so much I really appreciate it but she gifted this to me and because I was talking about it and I was really interested in it basically this is four short stories um, new short stories written by King and I'm just really excited to read this. If you don't know already I am doing a big buddy read with this book so I have a Goodreads group all set up so if you would like to buddy read with me and some other people definitely join take part. I'll have it all linked down below for you guys with the information but basically starting June 1st we're going to be reading this book and you can either read one short story a week or do it at your own pace kind of thing because there is um, discussion boards per story. So I'm just super excited to do something like that. I've never had a Goodreads group of my own and I've never done a bigger buddy read and I've also never done one for a King book I don't think at least not in a long time so I'm really excited to just read this with you guys and I know a lot of you guys are excited too I've re received some messages and that just makes me really happy because I really thought no one was going to participate so yeah if you're interested in reading this definitely join us this month reading this I'm excited the book I'm currently reading is called My Eyes Are Up Here by Lara Zimmerman so basically I'm reading this book right now and it deals with body positivity and it's white contemporary I'll definitely be talking more about it when I finish it and I'm also going to be talking about it in a vlog that I'm doing but so far it's it's okay but that's what I'm currently reading and along with that I have two physical arcs that I have to read these are both past release date sadly but these are the two two arcs this year that I haven't read that yet that I really want to read so um, first up we have Be Not Far From Me by Minnie McGinnis. This one is a wilderness survival story and I really love Minnie McGinnis's work. I've only read Female the Species but I really loved it so I'm hoping to pick up this and then some of her other works that I own. Next up is The Kingdom of Back by Mary Lou. So this one I'm just super excited about and I got it a little while ago and I remember I was so so happy the day I got it and it came with a beautiful ribbon because the publisher sent it so nice and just thank you so much but this book came out in March if you do not know and this is a Mary Lou's book that it centers a lot around music and I it's like I know the topic of the book just deals primarily with music and it's about a brother and sister so I'm just really intrigued to read this I don't really want to know too much about these books before going in but they're definitely two arcs that are on my list for my 2020 arcs that I need to read and that I'm really excited to read to be honest I just have been putting them off a little bit next up here I have now entering Adamsville by Francesca Zappia this I've had for a little bit so this book came out oh wow it came out in like October of last year but this is written by the same author who wrote Eliza and Her Monsters and Made You Up which are two books that I love uh, this one I think is quite different though I will put the final cover up over here just so you know what it looks like but this is the art copy and the tagline actually on the arc says Stranger Things meets Buffy the Vampire Slayer in this contemporary novel from the acclaimed author of Eliza and Her Monsters and apparently it says something about ghost stories, spooky, crime, small town. That's kind of the vibes I'm getting. I don't really realize that. But I'm, it sounds like it's going to be a mix of things. I'm really excited to pick this up though because I really like uh, Francesca Zabia's writing. And I think she's, her books have been phenomenal, the ones I've read. So I'm really looking forward to picking this one up. But not least, I have Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. This is the fourth book in the Stalking Jeff the Ripper series. I did not like book one book two and three though I adored I love those books so this series I really really like um even though I wasn't the biggest fan of the first book the second and the third were incredible and almost five star reads for me so I'm so excited to get to capturing the devil and I've been kind of waiting for that right time like you know when you wait for that right time to read something that's kind of where I'm at but I'm really excited and yeah these are basically kind of historical fiction murder mysteries and they follow um we follow our main character Audrey Rose who's like super feminist, super badass, love her. I'm just really excited to see where the story takes us with the characters and Thomas Cresswell, love him, he's great. 
beautiful man. So I'm excited to read this. So there you guys have it. Those are the books that I'm planning on reading in the next little bit. Let me know if you guys have read any of these books, if you've enjoyed them or not, and let me know what you plan on reading soon or what you're currently reading. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. If you are interested in the If It Bleeds Buddy Read, um, definitely check out the info down below. I would love for you to join us and yeah, we'll see how it goes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you super soon. Bye.